Hi. In this problem, we have a plane that flies from LA to Honolulu. After T hours of being in flight, the distance it remains to get to Honolulu is represented by this function. We're asked to find these two things. Here's how we proceed. The way we justify all of our steps that we made in this problem is as follows. To start, we started off with our original function, but they asked us to replace the t with a t plus h. That's what this means. So we effectively changed t in the original to t plus h. And what that does is basically replace the t with a set of parentheses with the t plus h inside. Afterward, Negative 430 gets distributed onto each part, which leaves us with this. Then what we went and did, we took it and we used this piece of information in the difference quotient. This thing right here is called the difference quotient. So it's typically written in this format, but here they asked for it this way. The first step gave us the top left part. So in the top left of our fraction, you'll see this is exactly what we got from the part above. The one thing that they're bad about explaining in the difference quotient and the most common mistake made by students, when they ask us to subtract the original, they oftentimes forget to tell you it would be best to just put a set of brackets or parentheses here because you're supposed to subtract the entire original function. So we went ahead and put our brackets here to make sure that the minus sign subtracts each component. If you forget it, what's gonna happen? you'll end up subtracting just the first thing and you're gonna get the wrong answer. So now the negative can get hit on each of the components of the original. We let it distribute, which is where we got this negative. Negative and negative made this positive. In the end, it's very common for the difference quotient to cancel all the original parts with something prior. Here's the original function. We want to see if the 2500 will cancel somewhere inside the difference quotient. It became negative 2500 here, and if you see, we had a positive 2500 up front. So this guy canceled with this guy. The other thing is we've got negative 430t in the back. It gets distributed here with the minus to make it a positive. We want to see if there's something that'll cancel with this piece. If we go back, we see minus 430t is right here. So this minus 430t will cancel with this plus 430t. What we're effectively left with? We're left with minus 430h over h. Once we rewrite it, it's clear the h's cancel, and the answer is negative 430. When they ask you, if they ask you, to interpret, the interpretation is about how fast the output or y-valued heights change divided by how fast the run is changing in the x-values or on the horizontal axis. So let's do a quick interpretation. If we drew this graphically, the input is t, which means our horizontal axis is t. That was hours after we had left LA. The vertical axis is the output. This thing spits out how far we are from Honolulu. So over here is capital D, but it's distance, and it's the miles to get to Honolulu. The interpretation is the change in the vertical divided by the change in the horizontal. So what we can say is this. This 430, we'll rewrite it as negative 430, but to make it a fraction, divide by one. You're always allowed to do that. If you're not convinced, get a calculator. If you put negative 430 and divide it by one, it's still the same as negative 430. So this is the same as what we had, but now that it's in this fraction, we can interpret each piece. The negative 430 is the change vertically. In other words, the distance in miles. So this is in miles. And the bottom part is the change in the horizontal axis, which here is t, so this is in hours. 
So the result is negative 430 miles per hour. So this represents speed. The only issue in interpreting this is that the minus sign has a special significance. What does it mean? Well, the minus just means that the distance that we were measuring in miles is decreasing. Why? Because we were flying towards Honolulu. So we're traveling at 430 miles an hour to Honolulu, and we know it's negative because we keep getting closer and hope we arrive soon. Hope you found this helpful. Look forward to sending you more helpful hints and solutions to your problems. If you have some tough problems, go ahead and send them to the mathinformant at gmail.com. Have a great day.